Let's look at adding password protection to your site. You might remember at the bottom of the landing page, there is this button to the secure area. Right now, if I click, it goes right there. It's not actually protected yet. So let's protect the directory that this lives in. I'm going to close this for right now. I'll go back to cPanel, and I'm going to just start typing directory in here. And you'll see that there is directory privacy listed under the file section. I'll click that. And then I want to navigate to the folder. So it says click on an icon to open the folder and click on a name to select the folder. So let's go into the public HTML folder. Let's click on secure. Now I'm going to check the box to password protect this directory. And let's enter a name, secure area. Now I'm being pretty generic about it. This is a secure area on this site, but maybe you have something more specific. So you might want to say something like client area on your portfolio site, or maybe you want to protect something that you only give a certain number of people access, and maybe you want to be real specific. So I'll click save to create that, and that's been set. So I'm going to go back. Under secure area, I'm going to create a user. So let's call this user client, and I'm going to make a simple password, and then save. And I get a message that's been successful. I'm going to go back to the landing page and just click reload just to make sure everything's fresh. I'll scroll down and click on the secure area. And it loads up just fine. It might be cached. So let me go ahead and open this in a new incognito window. Now I've got an uncached version. So if somebody never visited this before, this is what they'd see. They'd be prompted to sign in. So if I just tried to type in something, you know, got it wrong, it's not going to let me in. But now if I put in the right user and the right password, then I'm able to get in. Now let's copy this address. We'll see the effect of the subdirectory. Now remember I password protected this secure directory, but it's also going to protect the subdirectory inside of there. I'm making sure I have no incognito windows open because if I left that one open, it would still have my username and password cached. But I've got them all closed, so I'm going to go to new incognito window and paste in the address. Remember, I don't need index on here, but let's go to the subdirectory, and I get prompted for the username and password. And I'll enter it here, and you can see that I get access to this subdirectory. So you can think about this as protecting an individual directory like secure, but if you have subdirectories, it can actually protect all kinds of content with a single username and password. And it's possible to add an additional user to this secure folder. So I could create a second user, maybe this is client number two, and create a separate password for them and then give them access so that I'm not handing out one username and password for everybody, and that way I could actually remove access at some point. So right here I have authorized users, I have client in there, I could delete them and take away access. So that gives you some rudimentary control over protecting content on your website. Now if you want to get more sophisticated and maybe sell stuff and only share access with people who've purchased, then you're going to want to take a look at creating a membership site on Ajar Academy. For now, let's build on what we've done here with our secure area and create a subdomain to access that area in the next video.